and everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming back again and again. Till I see your Mom and dad have been married for 13 years, been through a lot, but they've always hung in there. And when they separated, it was hard on the whole family. Uh, but they got back together. And now they're paying someone to tell them how to be married. Take as much time as you'd like. And I'm thinking after 13 years, they should know. <laughs> Honestly, things have been really good lately. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then a great deal of our work is done. Counseling only helps if both parties want to be a couple. Um, well, and Maxine and I definitely want that. We're just a little scared. We don't want to end up apart again. We want to make sure we understand what went wrong. My job would be easy if couples realized but that's what it's about, wanting it to work. Mm. I'm going to give you both an assignment. I'd like you to think of ways to celebrate yourselves and each other within couplehood. Now, I know you've got kids, and that makes it tricky. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but try to make the extra effort. Come back to me with your ideas, and we'll uh, examine them together. Oh, this sounds, sounds like a yeah. good idea. Um, oh, uh, thank you, Doctor. Yeah, I uh, appreciate your time. My pleasure. Right. Okay. Okay, baby. <sighs> so she wants us to figure things out. Yeah, I know. Well, isn't that her job? Exactly. Homework? We could have stayed home for that. <laughs> Good morning, babe. Hey. Where's Jay? He's still asleep, and I'm not waking him up either. He had me up reading to him till almost 9 o'clock. Who's that? It's probably the garbage trucks. No, today's not trash day. Mm -hmm. Babe, there's a moving van outside. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know this house was on the market. Me neither. Huh. <laughs> but I'm glad Mrs. Morton took care of her property. After she died, her kids let her go to hell. Grass all grown up and everything. Yeah, no pride of ownership. Mm. Well, anyway, I hope the new neighbors have some kids. Somebody Jeremiah could play with. <laughs> Speaking of. Yeah, right. Coming, honey. What are you talking about here, Dina? Give me that thing. Man, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Can you trust me? You want a woman to be wet? 
that's what you gotta do. <coughs> What's up, Amon? Who's that? What's up? Hey, hey. man. What's up, bro? <laughs> um, why would a woman want to be wet? <coughs> um, well, you know, that's that's what happens when you take a shower. You know, you, you get wet uh, from the water. And, you know, women love water. I mean, from showers. Yeah, but, uh, Mom doesn't like showers. <laughs> well, she loves baths. You know, she loves bathtubs filled, filled with, uh, water. water. Exactly. Um, look, can I just get something to drink? I need to get back to some more. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead and knock yourself out. Come on. We got plenty. Uh, all right. All right now. <sighs> now, why didn't you just tell him we were talking about us? He'll run and tell his mother, and I'll be looking for another apartment. Instead of trying to figure out this homework assignment from a damn marriage counselor. I got it. I hope it ain't contagious. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 women love to know that even though you've already married them, you do it all over again. Man, Terry won't even let you label whatever in the hell y'all doing. So how are you gonna tell me what my wife wants? <laughs> See, that's wrong. He may be wrong, but he's right. <laughs> As a single man, you don't know shit about marriage. What? For sure. <laughs> However, I have to agree with him on this one. If a woman thinks that you'll choose her again, if you could, well, we talk about guaranteed high every day of the week, whenever you want, wherever you want sex. Hmm. <laughs> man, I can never get... Too much good love. No, he can't. This is what I'm talking about. Not that I'm starving in that area. Oh, no, of course not. No doubt. No, you're straight. Hmm. Just like that. I got my therapy homework done. My wife thinks I'm a romantic. And I'm getting more than enough of that good funky stuff. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Hey, Terry. Good morning. Oh. Why can't you use your own bathroom? I'm kind of using this one. So it's okay for me to sleep in your bed, but I can't use your bathroom. What does that have to do with you peeing on the floor? And besides, why do we have to have that conversation this early in the morning? That conversation? Please. I mean, everything's been so good with us lately. We really have to talk about why it's good. Hmm? Pee on the floor. Go ahead. Pee on the walls if your heart desires. <laughs> See? Very funny. Very. Hey, baby. Hi. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. You know it. <laughs> I was up all night thinking about our assignment. Uh -huh. And I think I've got the perfect solution. No, oh, okay. Well, go ahead, shoot. Oh, but I gotta warn you. Now, I've been doing some thinking, too, and my idea is dynamite. Okay, big man. Big man. <laughs> well, I think we should take that trip to San Francisco we never went on. Bring us back to the moment before we got off track. Oh, that, that, that's sweet. Mm-hmm. But as I suspected, my idea is better. What? Well, it better be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, I was looking back on our marriage, way back. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking we never really had the proper wedding. I mean, you got pregnant with a ma. Your father persuaded us to go to the courthouse. Your mother said I burned in hell. I remember, I remember. Right, right. Well, my point is, I think we should renew our vows. Kenny. <laughs> oh, you all right, dear? It's yeah. way better. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and we can do it this Sunday. Okay. You know, we can have a nice little service right here at the house. The sooner the better. Right. <laughs> uh, how about we have a little early morning 
premarital sex. Are you kidding? Premarital sex is the reason I didn't get that wedding in the first place. Well, no, 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 no. No sex until Sunday. Okay. All right. I see. All right. Yeah, yeah, I can. I can live with that. Can you finish up here, Kenny? Because I uh -huh. gotta tell my sisters some, the great news. Yeah. Cake samples are here. Oh. Oh, look at you. Oh. It's horrific. Whoa. Ew. <laughs> like a lemon meringue pie. Uh, that's not too bad. Okay, oh. first things first. I cannot plan a wedding by Sunday. Come, try the cake. The mm. chocolate is supposed to be amazing. Wait, wait a minute. Chocolate. So Kenny can smash it in her face and ruin her dress? I don't think so. Well, we have to pick a dress first before we worry about ruining it. Yes, but the dress is supposed to go with the flowers, not with the cake. I'm thinking of roses. Ranunculus. Vibrant. No, we decided kale lilies. We oh, changed it. I had kale lilies. Which time? Well, let's see. If we include both my weddings and yours, it's three. I paid for Calla Lilies three times. Yes, well, she is not you or me, and she wants roses. Is, is it okay if Maxine p speaks for herself? Sorry. We got a little excited. We just wanted the wedding to be special. I want it to be special, too. I'd just like to be included in some of the decision-making. Starting with this cake right here. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. Let's try it needs um, more and more butter. And baking soda. Something else, too. Some salt. It needs salt. You know, you're right. Mm -hmm. This one. Mm. Yeah, I, I was just going to say baking soda yeah. mm. and salt. Mm. 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 Maybe I should make my own cake. You will not make your own cake. I'll tell you what. If we don't find something we like here, I'll make your cake. Oh, nah, wow. It'll be my gift to you. Mm. Let's try another. Mm. What's that? Probably the new neighbors. Someone bought Mrs. Morton's house? Yes, finally. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy! Mm -hmm. This will work. We cannot let him make the cake. Oh, my God. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. They're white. Really? really? Yes. Yeah. You're right. They're white, all right. Ooh. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, it's all right. Well, I was trying to get home for lunch, but the downtown loop wasn't cooperating. Yeah, well, I tried to get your son to wait for you, but he obviously wasn't having it. <laughs> oh, you are not going to believe this. Your new neighbors? White. What? White. You saw they just not light-skinned. I was wondering how long it was going to take. For what? Gentrification. Rich white people coming in, buying up the property, renovating and driving up all the prices. You think that's what's happening? Of course. It's happening all over Chicago. Before you know it, it's going to be a BMW in every driveway. Well, what do we do? Find out the development group behind this. Check out their plan. Make sure that the people living here can still afford to live here after there's a Starbucks on every corner. Maybe I should call Terry. Not necessary. We can get first-hand info from our new neighbors. Ah. Uh, over my mac and cheese. People talk more freely over food. Uh, babe, you did, there's no need to, to, to waste your, your good cooking on them. I mean, we don't even know them. That's huh. true. We should just buy them a pie mm. from, a, from, a, from a store. Good plan, baby. I'll save my mac and cheese for my baby. You love it. Yep. Mm -hmm. You love it too, don't you? Get my mac and cheese. Of course, we would have no part of Bird making a wedding cake. Oh, man. Terry insisted we use one of her caterers. Oh, a stylist from Bird's TV show helped me find several dresses. Well, uh, Maxine, few... Maxine, whoa. Yeah, huh, we just decided on doing this thing this morning. How did you get all this stuff done so fast? Oh, baby, you got to know. If the Joseph women put their mind to something, it will come to pass. I see. <laughs> Which is why we can't have the wedding on Sunday. Too much to do. We need at least three weeks to send the invitations out, find a venue. Oh, well, we have a venue. Oh, baby, the house isn't big enough for a hundred people. A hundred people? Maxine, how do you expect to pay for all this? I know it sounds expensive, but Bird and Terry were able to get good deals on the cake, the dress. Well, the dress and the cake are not the problem here. I've thought it all out. Now, I've got some money set aside in my savings account. It's not much, but we won't have to dig that deep. You never told me you opened up an account. 
What did you expect me to do with my money from the transition house? Your money. As long as we've been together, have you ever heard me mention my savings account? You don't have one. My point exactly. Uh, Kenny, I don't make that much. Yeah, well. Besides, it all goes to paying bills. What exactly are you paying? New shirts for Ahmad's uniform. Personal money. So I don't have to run to you every time I want to buy a pair of pantyhose. I will start depositing it into the checking account if it'll make you feel better. I don't understand why you weren't doing that in the first place. What, what does all this have to do with the wedding? It's not a wedding. We're renewing our vows. I mean, it's supposed to be a simple ceremony where, like the therapist says, something to bring us together. Oh, I see. We are doing all of this so that you can get an A on your homework assignment. No, 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 no. No, I... D Baby, I just don't think we need to, you know, make it into a big deal. So? Oh, you're right. It shouldn't be a deal at all. First, my parents didn't know how to be married. And then they decided to get remarried to show how much they loved each other. Now they're not getting remarried even though they've already been married. Does that mean I have to start pretending that they're not my real parents? If it does, I like that idea already. And what him? <laughs> He's soft. No, let him. Let, what? Let Shaq get him in the post. He's dumb, baby. No nah, way. I saw with my own eyes. Nah, really. CGI hooked me and Kevin up with some tickets last Tuesday. That was Wednesday. Huh? Hold, hold on. What'd you say? You went to the game last Wednesday. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. I went to the game on Wednesday, AC. <laughs> Anyways. They can do it, man. If Shaq stays healthy, four P baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh no! What about Kobe? He's the key. <laughs> Look at his cute little stuff. If one of them were to get traded, it would be Kobe. That's a fact. I know. <laughs> Are those turkey? Beef. Nah, Terry asked what kind of hot dogs I'm cooking. Technically, you don't cook hot dogs. You heat them. Hey, AC. Hey, Terry. Do you want to talk to her? I'm just saying. Hey, yeah. Okay. Try not to act like you're pumping them for information. I won't. I won't. I mean, I mean, this, is, this is ugly. An attack dog? Damn yuppies. They want to live here, but they scared to live here. somewhere. A ferret? Wow. Where are you from? Well, uh, Cedarburg, Wisconsin. Now, the wife's folks died and uh, left us their place. We sold it, moved here. Been a dream of ours to live in a big city. Oh. You folks want to come in? I got beer and lemonade. No, we can't. Well, we got to get back. We just wanted to come by, introduce ourselves, and bring you the pie. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you kindly. We'll have to have you all over once we get moved in. Well, yeah. That would, that would be something. OK, bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Yo, oh, this is worse than gentrification. Way worse. A ferret lamb. They have a rodent for a pet. Okay? Before you know it, it'll be more damage ah! than us in our own damn neighborhood. Jeez. Huh. I like that mac and cheese, huh? Yeah, huh? It's open. I don't understand why you guys always complain about birds cooking. It's good to me. So I see. Well, there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Fellas, that was a lucky shot. That was lucky. Okay. You know you screwed me, right? Come on! Damn! Come on, man. Come on. Every time. Block out. Come hey, on, man. Hey, 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 no, you guys totally screwed me, man. You're blocking the TV, man. What are you talking Come on, about, man. Kenny? Sit down. Renew your vows. 
More sex than you can handle. Do I look like a man that's getting more than he can handle? First of all, I never said any of that. Damon did, all right? <laughs> what? Look, the wedding's off. We got into it about the money, end up saying, forget the whole thing. Oh, man. Yeah. How'd you screw it up? You know, I could have had it real easy. I could be in San Francisco right this minute, but I had to listen to you two. And now, not only am I not on vacation, I'm not getting any. Just say you're sorry, man. Yeah, and bring flowers. Oh, yes. come on. Now, you guys know you can do better than that. Now, if I was you, I would... Oh, oh! How could he lose the ball right there? Put it Are on the table. Put it on the table, baby. Man. I told oh, you to put the money on the table. Turn the ball over 20 times. Yo, four minutes second. Turnovers in two seconds. That's what I'm talking about. Put it on the table. I'll let myself out. It's four minutes left. Look, get, get right back at you. Yo, I'll holler at you later, Ken. All right, Ken. One day to sleep in. This is not happening. Ugh. Excuse me. Excuse me. What can I do for you? get it done. Well, is Buddy around? He's at work. Yeah, well, when will he be back? Look, lady, I got a whole mess of work to get done before sundown, and all these questions are keeping me from it. Now, if you'll excuse me, like I said before, I got work to do. Yeah, okay, but we're trying to sleep over here, and it's really loud. See, the thing is, we have... Oh! 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 Too busy for family here. <clears throat> so what's up? Oh, it's about Maxine and the wedding. She really wants it, Kenny. Well, she said that? Of course not, but you know she does. <laughs> <laughs> well, then she can have it. Good. As long as we keep things reasonable. Oh. It's very reasonable. I mean, we're not talking about a great deal of money here. It's really quite reasonable. It's a bargain as far as weddings are concerned. Oh, well, but we're not talking about a wedding here. You know. We're talking about a small ceremony. You know, two people who've been together forever renewing their vows. Listen, when Lemonberg got married, you know, they needed help. Because my baby sis had to have a huge wedding. And I was glad to do it. I'd love to do the same for Maxine. As my gift to both of you. So you want to pay for the wedding? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, that, that's, that, that's really great of you, Terry. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. But, uh, as I recall, uh, when you loaned that money to Bird and Lem, you never let them hear the end of it until they finished paying you back. Mm, actually, I never loaned them the money for the wedding. 
You're obviously getting the loan for Bird Salon mixed up with the gift of a wedding that I paid for. Well, right, 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 right. Well, if it's all the same to you, uh, I'm going to have to decline your gift. Kenny. I don't want your charity, Terry. Kenny. Now, uh, look, listen. I've always had a hard enough time accepting that you buy the kids clothes, uh, uh, Ma's uniforms, and, and those expensive tennis shoes that he wears. Yeah. But, you know, I deal with it because I know you love those kids as if they were your own. Yes, I do love them as if they were my own. I love you like a brother, and you know I love my sister. That is why I just want to help. Right. I want to give Maxine something she missed out on the first time around. Well, this isn't the first time around. We're just not starting out. You know, I'm going to have to handle my life and my marriage the way I've always have. Not owing anybody anything. Have a nice day. Yeah, we... You too. Oh, now you get up. You okay? No. You didn't hear all that racket out there? Oh, I must have slept through it. I worked a late shift last night. Yeah, well, all that hammering and banging. Should you ever wonder what's wrong with people? You think you move into a neighborhood, you try to get along. Maybe you should try talking to them. I did that. They didn't listen. Oh, that's why I'm gonna call somebody who will. Who you calling? Police. Filing a noise complaint. You know, they just bought that house, and whether you like it or not, Bird, they're not going anywhere. Yeah, well, that's why I'm calling. Shoot. They need to know how things are done in this neighborhood. Don't you think you're overreacting? Overreacting? Yesterday, you were worried that some big-time real estate developer was taking over our neighborhood. And now, because you can sleep through anything, you don't give a damn? Hi, this is Tracy Van Adams. Okay, well, this is this is going well hmm. so far. Now, um, let's move on. Since neither you did your uh, homework assignments, I'd like you to do an exercise with me. Acknowledge, address, express. Maxine, I'd like you to tell Kenny how you feel. And Kenny, I want you to listen and then acknowledge, address, and express what Maxine has just told you. Maxine, you can start with when you blank, I felt blank. When you suggested the wedding, then admitted you didn't want to do it, I felt like you manipulated me. Very good. Kenny? <clears throat> um, Maxine, uh, I uh, acknowledge that you... No, oh, who cares of where the suggestion came from? I mean, you wanted it, and it made you happy. So how does it matter if I was doing it for you or doing it for me? It was going to make us both happy. You know, it's your damn sisters. My damn the... sisters love me, and they wanted me to have a real wedding. Are you trying to say wedding. that I don't love you? Can, can I, I, I no, what? You, I'm the you one don't that suggested admit the whole it. thing. Yeah, no, that's the question that we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Kenny, let's... Take a deep breath, okay? Now, Kenny, what Maxine is trying to tell you is because the wedding didn't come from your heart, it was essentially insincere. Really? Well, wait. That's not exactly what I meant. I mean, I know Kenny was trying to do something to make me happy, and I love him for that. I just wish you had wanted it for you. As much as you wanted it for me. Okay. Well, um, that's not what you said, Maxine, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Maxine, Kenny wants you to know that you make him feel like he can't do anything right. Huh? Uh, no. No. That, that's, that's, that's not quite right. You know, I just don't want to feel like my idea wasn't sincere. You know, just because I did it for her. Now, I mean, anything that I do for her, obviously I do it for the both of us, baby. 
Uh, I didn't really hear that from you, Kenny, but um, good. Very good. Now, I'd like you to work on your acknowledge address express. <coughs> Seven. It's not funny, Damon. Why can't you just take your bag with you upstairs when you come home? Because I'm just going to have to bring it back down when I go to the gym again. Uh, uh, all right. New yet previously stated rule. From now on, every time you and your gym bag full of size 15s come home, you all go upstairs and into your room. Every single day. Or I'm cleaning it up. Uh, Although I still don't understand a big deal. And then you pee when I'm in the bathroom. You use my toothpaste and you don't put the cap back on. You drink right out of the juice container. And your socks are everywhere. And it, it's annoying sometimes. You know, you're, you're funny, you know that? You're going on and on like there's no possibility that you do things that are annoying. You have to be kidding me. No, I'm not. Every time I'm on the phone, you find a way to get in my conversation. It's annoying as hell. Okay, but I put up with it because you clearly can't help being so nosy. If you're talking out loud, obviously I'm going to hear you. On the phone! How else am I going to talk about out loud? Okay, fine. What else? Snoring. You're a horrible snorer. And you talk in your sleep. I do not snore. How do you know you sleep? What kind of stuff do I say in my sleep? Um, forget it. I, nothing. What do you mean, nothing? If I supposedly talk in my sleep, I have a right to know what I say. Well, sue me, counselor. You know what? I, I, we need to have a meeting. Mm-hmm. See that? Won't be waking me up early anymore. I just talked with your new neighbor, Mr. Beale, about the complaint you filed. Mm -hmm. As far as I can tell, he's not breaking any laws. Well, did you do a background check on him? I mean, he's probably one of those crazy white supremacists. Huh. Wearing all that camouflage. Looking like a Montana militiaman reject. He was in the Army. He did time in Desert Storm. Retired last year. He probably has a lot of that camouflage. You know what? He could be telling you anything. That's fine. You know, thank you for your help. Yeah. If you uncover the conspiracy, you'll give us a call. Well, I think I'll just call the city instead. I'm sure a bunch of ordinances are being broken over there. I don't know. Just, and probably don't care. He don't live here. Okay. Use that. Sit down. I'll be right back. Buddy, hi. This must be your wife? Tammy. Tammy. That's so nice. Uh, a pleasure to meet you. A oh, pleasure's all mine. Oh. Okay. I just wanted you two to meet. And to tell you, next time we have a problem, I'd appreciate it if you come to me before you call the cops. What? No, what makes you think I... If I saw him come over here. Oh. Well, have a good rest of your day. Bye. Bye. Hey, you, Maxine. Oh, Kenny. Hey. Well, I didn't hear you come in. Oh, yeah, uh, just, uh, just a second ago. Mm-hmm. 
Who were those for? Oh, uh, for them, for you. And what's the occasion? I'm realizing how stupid I've been acting lately. Hey, um, could you come sit down? Well, it's no secret that I'm tight with the dollar. Or maybe too tight. <clears throat> but I guess, you know, this one's considering their business is amazing. Yeah, I can loosen up the Kung Fu grip on my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Maxine Chadway, will you marry me? Of course I will. As many times as you'll have me. Oh, that's my girl. Oh. Babe. Mm. 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 Okay, okay, baby, baby. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I thought you wanted to wait until our wedding night. Oh, never mind the wedding night. We've got two hours before Bird brings the kids back home. Right, but, but baby, baby, no, I, I, I don't want you to do this for me, right? I mean, you wanted to wait, so, you know, we can wait. No, I don't. I mean, I did, but I don't want to anymore. Well, maybe I want to wait now. You do not. Well, yes, I do. Okay. All right. <sighs> okay, we'll wait. Okay. Okay, fine. I, I think that's best. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Hey, baby. Huh? Wait's over. Ooh, <laughs> I can't believe you did that to me. Kenny? Sister-in-law, <laughs> Maxine, the only normal sister-in-law I have. Oh, oh watch out now. Okay, keep playing and you'll be looking for another babysitter. No. Oh. All right, all right, all right. All right. To right. so the better okay. half of the couple I admire the most on this planet, here's the 50 more years of mad happiness. Oh. Hey, 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 hold on. I got a quick one. Thanks for showing us all what it means to love someone exactly as they are. Oh, oh and luckily for me, exactly what she is. Is beautiful, loving, smart, and the perfect mother for my children. Oh, I love you so much. Mm. Oh, I love you so much. All right, break it up, break it up. <laughs> I got one. Um, in just three short weeks, you two will become one again. Right. And I think, um, I don't know, I think James Brown said it best in his song. He said, this is a man's world, but it would be nothing without a woman without or a girl. Ah! Ah!
set me up with the Patriots, man. What, you afraid your old man's gonna kick your butt in some football? Cool, come on. All right. So, uh, I hear you got a wedding to go to. Yeah, if it doesn't get caught off again. Oh, trust me, it won't. And look, come on, you know, I'd be honored if you... Um, Dad? Yeah. Look, could you kick the ball? Oh, yeah. right, right. Look, son, I have been trying to raise you to be the best man that you could be. And when I was thinking of who I would like to be my best man, well, I couldn't think of a better man than my son. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I already know where to get the tuck, so... Then let's do it. All right, all right, yeah, all right. I know everybody's busy with the wedding plans, but I still have issues with my noisy neighbors. Sorry, guys. Hey. Hey. Uh, <laughs> all right, everybody, listen up. I just wanted us all to get together so we can discuss what we're gonna do about our new neighbors. Oh. So it's your house, unless there's a problem with the neighbors, then it's our problem? Okay. <laughs> you know what, Terry? Kidding. I thought you called the city. I did. And I called the police. Neither of them did a thing. Hmm. Well, maybe you should get the other neighbors involved. Well, if we get everybody involved and it makes them worse out of spite, they might park another car in the front yard to go with the sofa on the porch. <laughs> well, so what are we supposed to do? Just, just let them make all that noise? Let their kids and their dogs run around like that? What if somebody gets bitten? By who, the kids or the dog? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't like it any more than Bird. I, I mean, I don't think we could force him to change. Hey, Kenny, maybe you should get one of your tow trucks over here and haul that piece of junk out of the yard. Oh, or maybe I can mind my own business. This is your business. Maybe the answer is to show them some respect. Treat them the way you want to be treated. We did that whole killing what kind this routine. Look where it got us. What? You know what? We did and we didn't. Okay, because it was clear to them that we wanted something. Mm. But what we need to do is flip the script. Mm. You know, act as though we just want to be friends. Yeah, like the old saying goes, uh, keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. Exactly. No, not exactly. That's not what I meant at all. Well, that's how I took it. Let's do it. Come on. Let's see. What? Hey, okay. we? Yeah. Hey. Who out of the way? Well, come on over the <laughs> Why my girl acting like this? Why she gon' flip the script? Talking about she gon' dip. I don't really wanna hear none of that lip. Tell me, my brothers, why do these women trip? What's going on? What's going on? Just came home with a little early to cook us dinner. Why don't mm. you uh, come keep me company while I cook? Yeah, I'm uh, No, no, what are you doing? I'm trying to use the bathroom. Why can't you use your own? <laughs> because you told me I could use yours. Oh. <coughs> well, I've changed my mind. What are you trying to hide? Somebody in there? No. Hmm. Excuse me. No, Dana, no. Excuse me. No, Dana, no. No. Okay. no. 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 Set this baby on fire! Okay, that's enough. Woo! Oh, no, no, I gotta... I gotta suck the smell in as a reminder that you're human. Okay? <laughs> Let me just... Oh! <laughs> I guess you... Oh, you should that thing after all. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Thank you. 
close your mouth. take Kenny to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love and to cherish. Okay, and scrap everything I said before. Maybe I didn't know why my parents were acting like they were before. But I think I get it now. People get comfortable with routine. And sometimes you have to be sure the routine you have is the one that you love. And just in case you get bored with the routine, you won't also get bored with the love. Till death do you part? I do. By the powers vested in me by the state of Illinois, I now pronounce you, again, right. husband and wife. Amen. So, do the thing, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I proudly present the Chatways. Yeah. Cute family. Yeah, yeah. Huh? No, I know. Hey, how old's the son? Oh, my just turned 13. Perfect. Three more years, he'll be ready to buy that 68 Mustang I got in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> 